Oh, what a beautiful morning it is. You know, uh, it's uh, early, I mean late winter, it's almost spring, and we're actually gonna have a great day because there's a powwow here in Thunder Bay. <laughs> Good whenever. Camera's ready. Camera's ready? Camera's mm -hmm. ready. My name is Nathaniel Moses. I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a little My name is Northman. Well, I come from a community called Bittagong, Ojibwe's of the Pitt River First Nation. And I, I learned a lot of culture with agencies throughout uh, the city of Thunder Bay. And uh, they brought elderly people and knowledge ca carriers and they taught me a lot and I, I clarify our, our, our elders and our ancestors that are in the star world are, are, the, are the teachers of mine. You know uh, because I, I grew up in Thunder Bay I, I really admired our people in our community and the gentleman by the name of Richard Dr. Lines he was the, my mentor and he was, uh, he was a dancer uh, and no nor North America wide. And one of our elders uh, used to pick me up and kind of bring me to presentations. I, I clearly said, you know, we, we have a role model and uh, I continue like, again to do that work that he's done. And uh, we, we strive to do our best. In regards to the, the age, well, 50 years, I would actually say, and uh, it's, 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 it's clarified me in a great way. Uh, I still continue to do my, my dance or my, my way of life, and uh, I just love our culture. Well, you know, uh, I, I, my belief system is right from the womb. You know, the heartbeat, that, that drum beat was there. And then when I first uh, came on to the real world, you know, I, 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 I sang my first song, you know, that cry of the baby. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, I think the, uh, the elders noticed me. They, they started to dress me. Uh, they kind of knew that that yeah, gift was mine. And you know, with, with me being a father, all my children are, are great, great at what they do. And they are all role models uh, in their community. As I, as I always said, it brings you uh, a foundation. So just recently, I, uh, three years ago, I kind of told my son, I said, I, I'm gonna come, uh, I'm gonna come grass dance with you. And uh, we went to Rosa River that one time and uh, I, I kind of said, uh, my son said, Dad, you don't know how to dance grass. And I said, uh, you don't know who I am, I guess. So I just start, start, I started the grass dance and uh, I, I took his mind away, I guess. He didn't know I could dance. Uh, I danced all my life, every category, you know, men's traditional, men's grass, I even went to hoop dance, you know, in regards to the, all these dances. Uh, I think the shake song is actually uh, one of my least favorite because it's hard to get up and down for a guy my size at 300 pounds. These dances are actually war war dances and uh, you would actually sneak up on your, maybe your enemy or, or maybe your, uh, your prey that you're, you're hunting. Uh, my favorite dance that, that became in the future was the double beat. Double beat kind of, I kind of soar like I'm um, on the clouds, you know. Double beat, uh, you could actually show your, your style. And uh, again, it's all about the, the professionalism that you put into your dance. Uh, it's the love. Traditional dance is where I'm at today. And again, it's me being who I am. I could transfer, just like a transformer and do any dance I want. If that makes sense. <laughs> I think uh, all my life, throughout my lifetime, these dances really, really brought me to uh, keeping my life clear, uh, drug and alcohol free. I continue to kind of teach this, you know, to live a good life. We, we follow the red road. The red road will kind of bring us to our uh, destiny. We understand that drug and alcohol does mix, mix our, our mind you know, emotionally, physically, spiritual, and mental, and uh, culture, it will bring us to the light. <clears throat> you, you know, continuously our elders said to us, no alcohol or drugs. And of course, everyone experiences throughout the lifetime, but you know, 
we understand, you know, to kind of live a, an okay life, we got to continue to live it dry. I was brought up with all beautiful people and a lot of beautiful people kind of were those residential survivors. I had my, I had my relatives uh, part of that. Uh, we were neglected, we were uh, spoken to in a, in a rough way, maybe because of the uh, residential schools back in the time. Uh, but in regards to the, you know, the dancing, our, my, my dancing in my community, it brought me to shine. And there was only a handful of us in the earlier 70s, uh, maybe before that, but in my time, I kind of know there was only a handful of us. And we continue to do our work in our community at large. And uh, I'm one of those role models, uh, I like to say, because uh, community picks the role models of, of their nature. And uh, I, I've been a role model to many, so uh, instead of a handful of us, there's many, many parts of this community that are dancers today and maybe singers uh, because of the role that we play. So our Anishinaabeg people, you know, the beautiful humans, everyone has a tribe, and every tribe is very, very... Uh, happy of who they are and in, in, in their identity. We continue to strive and live a balanced life. Miigwech, merci, thank you. Good?